Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. I had an idea to run a goblet with some rings around it. Uh, not around it, into it. Um, like joining rings. And I, th I thought of this idea with, with a cup draw. Um, I didn't see that I went through, so I just put uh, duct tape and then I poured the uh, resin in. And you will see just now that um, I actually went through when I drilled it and it's touching the corners so it starts leaking and um, I discovered that as I start pouring in I had no choice I have to stop I have to stop pouring the resin and put on all three other sides I had to put um, a, a plastic that I sealed a plastic cap that I sealed you see that I sealed with um, hot gun glue. I had to clean everything and redo it. And now, just to be sure that it's not leaking, I raised it up a little bit and I saw that it's not leaking. This one, after I managed uh, a day later, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tenet to hold it. And I'm going to do a cylinder right through and see how the, the rings are touching each other if they are touching each other at all if not I'll find another solution do you see those holes that were on the set that's from the first try that I did and it it didn't come so so right so I had to redo it put it after I made a tenant put it in and now I'm going to do a, a complete cylinder and I'll see where I am if I've got uh, bubbles or if I have uh, voids in the resin and if I do I have to solve it And I've got a small two small pieces of wet uh, with a with a void that the resin didn't go through, but that's not a problem. I can fix it. One thing that I learned from a previous um, uh, project that I made not to fix it with super glue, but to fix it with resin, because super glue sometimes leave marks, different marks. So I'll fix it with resin. And you see that the rings are very close. If I had a bigger um, drill caps probably it will be better and now I decided to do um, a, a, another ring a loose ring but also out of gold and let's see how it goes you're probably asking yourself what do I do here and here I'm creating like a like a gap, and I'm going to pour resin inside. And when I'll when I'll finish the, the the goblet, I will I will have like a golden ring around it. I left a little bit of a gap in between the the wood and and the container and the vessel and and you see the the resin is pouring down i was waiting for it to go all the way to the end so that i don't have bubbles over there and now i'm just going to fill it up so it will it will leak it will run to the sides and it will fill up the void that i had before the hole that i had before it goes into the pressure pot and i think that's the easiest way to remove the hot gun glue is just to cut it off Let's clean everything so I can start working on the goblet. But if you guys, if you've got something that you want me to do, you must let me know. Uh, you must put on the on the comment at the bottom that you want me to do something special. Then I'll do it. Uh, I use three drills here. 
to get it in steps inside so it will be easier to clean it later and um, um, you will see now I prefer to work first on the outside of the goblet. I'm creating the shape on the outside and then I go and I match the inside to the outside. Um, when I do a clear one, I go first on the inside and then on the outside. Why? I haven't got a clue why I created this thing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same size on the inside as I, I created the shape on the outside. And uh, then I'll start sandpaper it and polish it. I managed to get the effect that I wanted on the inside, but not on the outside. And that teaches me that the outside were, the, the rings were too uh, small on the outside. Uh, but it's all right, it, at least it's on the inside and I know exactly how it looks like on, on for a future project. I'm using the same paper from 150 all the way to 400. Then I'm going to use uh, Yorkshire grid, the 1K Yorkshire grid. And after that, I'm going to use um, OB shine juice because I like to use OB shine juice on, on Paduk. Now I'm just going to clean it with a little bit of alcohol um, to remove all the dust and to remove all the impurity that I've got on the inside. Obishan juice. I think Obishan juice with Paduk works magical. It brings out all the inside colors of the, the Paduk's got inside, all the orange one, all, all the slight, all the colors that the Paduk's got, the Obishan juice bring out. Now I'm start to work on the captive ring. Um, hopefully it will come right. Uh, it's, I'll be very honest with you. I think it's the first time I do captive ring with resin. Usually all the time that I made before and I practice was wood only. So that will be my, the first one for me. I hope I came right with that. You will let me know. You are my judges. And now I'm using the um, black line tools, the, the, the micro, the small one. And it's very easy and comfortable to work with the small with the mini black line tools because uh, it goes you can do very small um, features After um, sending it, I'm using the Novas to polish it out and I'm using the, the detail, detailing tool from the from black line tools, uh, the diamond shape to cut it off and cut the ring out without breaking the ring and I did not break it. And I'm taping the ring to one side so it's not going to turn all the time and it's not going to get damaged and I'm working on the leg of the goblet uh, and when I'll finish it I will go to the other side.
final touches to the leg to the bottom part of the leg and putting another step in um, so it's another feature and then I would I'll finish it with uh, sandpapering and um, obishan juice and um, Yorkshire grit Now I'm taping uh, a 320 grit sandpaper to the stamp, to the leg, and I'll turn it and I will polish the inside of the, of the captive ring. A little bit, a little bit more of obishan juice, just to bring back the shine. After I put the the masking tape, after I put the tape on, so it removes the, the marks and um, brings the shine back again. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up put remarks at the bottom i really appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video cheers